Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. So tomorrow is July 4th as I'm recording this and me and some friends are heading on a bike packing trip. So I thought I would do a real quick video vlog style showing what I'm gonna pack in my bag and what bike I'm bringing and how I'm gonna pack it. Um, this is gonna be mostly bike paths and a little bit of road, uh, nothing too gnarly. So I'm gonna be bringing, my bike is gonna be my Trek 500 to 1983 steel bike. Um, I made a whole entire video about that. It's upgraded with a nine speed Shimano 105 group set and some later Bontrager wheels. So that's the bike I'm going to be riding 32 millimeter tires because there's nothing too gnarly. There's a little rough gravel on the way to one of the campgrounds, but nothing it can't handle. So I don't need the whole gravel bike set up. So that'll be the bike of choice. And now I'm going to go through, I kind of laid out everything here that I think I'm gonna bring with me and I'm gonna go through what I have here and then I'm gonna try and pack the bike and see what ends up getting eliminated and what makes it. So some of the stuff we have here, um, some wipes to clean uh, yourself and the bike as it says. Obviously the GoPro Hero 8 black, extra batteries, I've got a couple more of those charging over there. All the cables for charging stuff, you know, iPhone. USB-C, micro USB, um, food, uh, sports nutrition. I'll probably have a little more stuff with me in the morning. We got Stroop waffles and here's some figs and this is syrup. This is the main bag. This drops down into panniers too. When it's on the bike, this is the rain cover for it. A little camp towel, a uh, pillow that folds up real nice. This is a musette. I really like to have those with me because if on the way to the campsite, we decide to stop and pick up food or beer or anything on the way for just a few short miles, these fold up so small and they're easy to throw on your back if your bag's already maxed out. Obviously a couple water bottles, some stuff to cook with, some zip ties. Uh, zip ties and stuff like that have saved me on bike packing trips. You never know how they're gonna come in handy. Got a rain cover for the Brooks saddle, um, lights, headlight, tail light. There's another light already on the bike. Uh, this is the footprint for the tent, so it goes underneath it. A couple um, starter logs for campfires. Uh, these were the stakes for the tent, and this is the tent here. These are the poles. Um, Rainfly, actual tent. Sleeping bag, this will pack down real small in my bag. I don't bring any of the bags for most of this stuff. I just pack it right in the bag to save the extra space. Here we have a couple power banks. Um, my Canon 6D with a 40 millimeter pancake lens. It makes so I have a fairly small setup. Well, by the standards of when it came out, that was a small setup. I debated maybe not even bringing a camera because they do take up a lot of space, but I just can't see myself not only using the GoPro. The GoPro will take fine photos for, you know, Instagram or something like that, but I printed some photos from our trip last year and, you know, I'd be pretty disappointed if I only had GoPro photos with me. This is a matches waterproof container that they stay in. This is actually a wine cork screw. It's nice to have, you never know when you're gonna need one of those. Um, bike tools and wallet here, you know, pump, extra tube, tire levers, multi-tool, you know, cash, tiny bike lock. You know, we never really leaving the bikes too far out of sight. Some toiletries, you know, toothbrush, deodorant, shades, stuff like that, normal stuff. This is a Frost River bag that'll go on the front of the bike, handlebar bag. Um, this is a frame bag and it's perfect because my tent poles, I actually bought it, fit in there. So that's the way I could bring my tent without having to strap it somewhere else. And then clothing is the other big debate. Obviously helmet, I just got, oh, throw that in the trash. Just got these gloves. Um, I had a pair like this before, but actually they came today just in time. So that's pretty good. But yeah, helmet obviously. So some boxers, which I'll wear around the fire. Um, Here's an extra pair of shorts. I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring two pairs of shorts yet. Swimsuit, I don't like to swim in my shorts that I'm gonna to have to ride in the next day. Um, I always load up on socks. I'm not sure how many I'll actually bring. I think I have like seven pairs sitting here. It's gonna be five days of riding, so I don't know. I hate having damp and wet feet and I like being able to change out of the riding socks at the end of the night. I have some plastic bags around like this, you know, just for in case it rains. The rain cover, it does cover the pannier bags and the whole top of this thing, but the problem is I get water from underneath since I don't have fenders on this bike and it'll get damp, so that's for the electronics. And then this the bait. these are riding shirts here, a couple button downs that are real, real lightweight. Um, they dry really fast. P 
people always think I'm crazy because I have long sleeves on, but they don't realize how cool these are. This is the kind of stuff I always wore when I was a farmer. Uh, some t-shirts for, again, sleeping in and around the fire. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna fit in there. Long sleeve wool, just in case it's chilly in the morning or after a long day in the sun sometimes, you just, you know, you feel cold in the morning, even if it's warm, it's gonna be a very warm trip. Uh, this is a jersey, I'm actually gonna wear that on the first day. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that I think I'm going to try and get on the bike. And that's, I'll see how it goes loading it up and see if I eliminate stuff or if I end up adding stuff. It'll just depend on the weight and the space. So let's get to the loading. So yeah, I think I've got most everything on the bike. Um, zoom out here a little bit. It's going to be heavy. Uh, but yeah, most of the stuff I want is here. Uh, stuff I need to get to quick. Rain cover, camera bag, uh, rain cover, camera. All that stuff here, electronics, stuff I can keep out of the rain, you know. Yeah, the only thing I've changed since I made the last video on this one is I got these uh, fixation uh, Mesa pedals with their gate straps. That's something I want to try out on this bike packing trip. I rode them last week, something I'll probably make a video about eventually, but much more comfortable so far than the cages. Uh, and the other thing is this strap on bottle cage because this vintage bike only has one mount for a bottle cage, but I put it right on top of the derailleur hanger so it won't slide down. But I got this in New York and it has this rubber bushing and it's, you know, it's held up really well. So yeah. So yeah, that's that. We have about 360 miles to do and we will do it in five riding days. Then we're running a pickup truck and we'll be driving back in that, throwing everything in the back. First day we have a bunch of people going with us and they're riding back in the morning, but the rest of us are going, four of us are going all the way to Cincinnati and then we're picking up a fifth when we stay at his house in Columbus on the second night. So it should be interesting and then I'll be able to review the setup and how it worked out for me when we get back. This is something that's evolved for me over time. As you could tell, I don't go out and buy a bunch of new stuff. It's stuff I've slowly picked up and it's slowly worked out for me so far. So we'll see how it goes on. This will be my longest uh, bike packing trip yet. So cool, I will see you when I get back. <laughs> 